Hi everyone, so today we are going to try out the new Anna Griffin vintage car, I think? Classic car. No wonder when I looked at vintage I didn't find this. But now I have it. I have the link for it in the description box. Well, that would be affiliate link, which means I'll make a small commission if you're a purchase items those links. At first I was like, why isn't it coming up? And then I just like looked it up by like newest Anna Griffin stuff. And there it was. So I was typing vintage. Um, yeah. I I'm, I hate to say, to make this look awesome, we're gonna have to do some extra work, guys, and I know those words do not come out of my mouth lightly. <laughs> I like things just run through, let's go. Um, I wanna see if there's an example on here. You know, it's funny, the examples here are very basic, except for, okay, well, like this one. They had to do some fussy cutting for the two, like the tone of the gold and then the green car. Um, so you're running it through, you're cutting a little bit of it out, and you're placing that on there, but they are covering quite a bit of that up, so, you know, if it's not cut quite right or it just doesn't, it's fine. You know, over here, I'm not sure what happened, but they replaced that little white strip in the top. They did the fussy cutting to kind of accent these areas, and then the tires, that's a whole different thing. Added some white piece in here. The examples um, Anna gave, like, while she was presenting it on HSN, had a lot of paper piecing into it. And the way these dies are, let's check this out real quick. You have your main die, right? Obviously, we need this to be run through so we can get our easel card, our classic card, easel card going. <laughs> classic car, easel card. Oh my gosh. Anyway, so we're gonna have that as our main piece, right? Then you have this piece that's like a background or a backer piece that is going to, after this is folded up, this is on here and it looks nice and it's always smaller than the main, this thing. And I don't know why I prefer, like when I make an easel card or a shape card, I like it to be exactly the same as the card shape because that way it covers that up. I don't know how to explain it. Especially with hers, once you have it folded, is there one example folded? Nope, not really. Um, it just kind of nestles into itself in a different way, but that's fine. So we have this die. And then you have this one that has the detail, but it also cuts out a bunch of pieces, right? And generally she does this with her easel dies. So you can paper piece back into these, and I mean you can stick it right on this, but I don't really like the look of this, and then maybe like the window peeking through, maybe I cut this out in blue or some color that would be like the window portions, like what should be see-through. Um, but I don't want the edge to also be blue, because then it's just like, there's no extra, it doesn't seem like anything extra. And then of course you, if you stick this one on top of this one, you can paper piece into it and you stick it right on here. I don't really care for the look of that, and I'll try to show you what I mean. I don't know how to explain it <laughs> until we get working on it. Or if you go and, you know, I have the link in the description box, you see the presentation that Anna had given, and you'll see some of the examples. Um, I think in some of her examples also they did, like, the lights here. Um, so all those kinds of things you're fussy cutting, um, all these extra bits. Uh, for the wheel, we do have an extra wheel that does have an outer piece, which is nice. <laughs> and we have this inside piece. And I don't think any of these have that example either. So. They look really nice. Um, I feel like you still have to do extra to make them look really, really nice. <laughs> so, hope that makes sense. Um, I know in a lot of her examples, they were like black in the background of the wheels, like that uh, background circle was black. And then this inner circle was white. And then they ran it through again with like a gold one. And then they just fussy cut around the gold to get only this middle section. That's like the um, inner portion of your tire. What's it called? I don't even know. Um, like a rim, I guess, or whatever they call. What do they call those? Huh. Anyway, um, I know, well, hubcaps, those are something else, but the <laughs> rim of the tire, right? So that's three different steps you're going to do, and one of them does involve fussy cutting, right? And for me, I'm like, I don't want it to look like a kindergartner fussy cut. That's my issue with trying to get this to look nicer. So we'll see how nicely it looks. I don't want just white, but I do want the white wall look because that's more classic, right? So we are going to have to do some extra stuff, guys. At least I am. Um, generally, I just follow along with the example, but of course, it's just to cut the easel. You're going to fold it in half. You can put the glue so that, you know, your background piece will stick to that glue strip. And then they're just showing you to have the background and then this guy on top. Great. Obviously, everything else that you do is extra, right? It comes with a stopper. And you're just putting the stopper together by basically having the two different pieces of cardstock. One popped up so that it actually gets in the way, right? So that it holds your easel card open. So. Um, we're gonna get to it, but um, hopefully you'll follow along and you understand what I'm gonna do. And hopefully that gives you some idea also of how the examples that you see on HSN are like amazing. And you're like, well, how'd that happen? Or, oh, I don't have the die for that. I know, I think on the baby carriage, someone's uh, review message was like, 
she didn't receive the bunny and Anna showed a bunny or maybe she even said that the bunny was going to be there because it had like a little bear but in the images you see only the bear you know so you got to make sure you're reading the descriptions and really looking at the images of the actual product because a lot of times what's shown obviously is it's just different you know uh the examples and then I did pick both of these up, the Classic Car Slimline Double-Sided Cardstock and the Handsome Slimline Matte Foil Cardstock. Now this, really, I picked up not so much for this car, but because I love her matte foil. <laughs> and this had colors that I don't typically have. Um, so, it has that gorgeous red. I think these are 4.5 by 9.5. No, 4 by 9.125. Sorry, guys. So exactly 4 by 9.125. Ooh, look at that one. That gunmetal is really cool. I love this blue. I think we used that during, uh, look at the purple. It looks like it has a really kind of AB look to it, but it doesn't. It's just the way the camera is reading it. It's, it's definitely purple. I don't really see the, a lot of the blue tone that the camera is showing right now with all that funkiness. It looks just purple in real life. And then like a copper, very pretty. It does look like it's colored on silver paper though. Do you see that? The way it's kind of beating up. That's interesting. I've never saw that before. Hmm. Okay, well anyway, maybe just for that color, the treatment isn't quite the same, you know? Um, and then this one is the classic car slim. I keep wanting to say classic card because the word card just pops into my head. Anyway, let's look at this right quick. And this one is double sided. Well, what's interesting, it's not all double sided. I mean, I guess it is. It's white on the back. Why would you never, you know, use white side if you don't use this side? So we have silver matte foil, the shiny black. And somebody asked me the other day when I had used this on a different card where I got it. And it was from an Anna Griffin set that unfortunately was like not available. I think it was her Halloween set, but there's some in here. Um, double-sided now see this is so pretty I love the texture of these like the way they look and then this one has that light blue and just a really pretty blue on the back this one has like a chambray kind of look to it a little bit darker blue than the one before uh, this is really cool textile again the same kind of thing you might have I don't remember exactly what was in the cart ohm or whatever set it was that made like a suit was it a cart ohm? I can't remember um, I mean it's so pretty so I definitely have was happy to have a refill of these. Now, funny enough, I was like, I want like a really light blue. Sorry, I'm kind of going faster with them now. Um, in the background, and I'm thinking it's like this one. It's kind of like a grayish blue. I think it's a pretty color to go behind the car to look like window or whatever, maybe. Which is a bummer because that means we're gonna not use this pretty paper. It'll be on the back side, but oh well. So I'm gonna put that one to the side because I do want to use that. Look at this red with like a little kind of chain link kind of look. Really burgundy on the back. The brown leather, very cool. And then that texture, yeah, I remember some of these, or like this peacock one. I think I have an animal prints one from Anna Griffin that, that's definitely in. And then on the back side, it's just, you know, really nice colors. So, I kind of want to use the black shiny paper for the car. And honestly, I hope this works. <laughs> I didn't check to see if this was something. It should, right? Ah, I'll give you guys a measurement too on that larger die just so you have that. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, we're good. Okay, so if I run this through, what colors do I want a paper piece back in, right? So that's another thing we can think about. Ooh, how about some red? Oh man, pine, not the design. I would like the design, but maybe just red. Because the design seems kind of interesting, kind of different. I don't know. All right, let's go with that one. Okay, so we have that and we have that. Let me grab some other papers. I said I would give you the measurement on this. You know, it's so funny. My last video was the flower shop, which I am just in love with. Okay, hold on. This is from metal to metal, like six and three quarters, I would say. All right? And then metal to metal, the largest one is what I'm measuring for you guys here, is like eight and three quarters. So just so you have that info. Um, I had said that uh, I don't use the, or never ever try to log into, um, what's that thing called? Um, finishing school. And it's so funny, I was done with my card and I was taking pictures for the video and I'm over there editing and I'm like, <laughs> you guys saw me go through this stuff. You know, we kind of quickly look at the um, instructions and I was making my choices and making them with you guys and then some off, ca not off camera, but like with music over, I was just making different choices. And then I look at this, I'm like, this is why I can't, <laughs> it is not exactly the same. The pink and then the flower shop and even the flowers. And this is why I don't like watching videos, literally anybody else's videos. <laughs> um, sometimes I watch like videos from companies here and there, but the reason I don't do it is because I don't want something to get stuck in my head and then I 
forget about it or I think later I'm like oh and then someone like the other day somebody left me a comment about an old video I mean this video is like two years old and she's like oh Tina Smith did the exact same thing on her video and I'm like okay <laughs> Like it was for like a pop up, like a flower pop up. Uh, I'm like, well, yeah, it's a set of dyes that make a no. I'm sorry, a butterfly pop up. I'm like, so clearly it's gonna look the same, right? From mine or hers. I don't know if mine came out first, hers came out. I don't care. I never watched it, but like, these are the kind of comments I don't like to hear, and I, you know, because people think, oh, you stole that from somebody, like the design did not but this must have been printed in my brain when I went to do this or something right and I didn't even have the box in front of me I had it put on the floor back over there so like I just took the flowers out you know so it's kind of funny I mean like it just happens obviously the rest of it's different but it's so funny how this is exactly the way it is but again that's why I don't make a habit of watching videos on the same things I, I you know I kind of kind of got that habit when I used to do nails on my old video sorry you know, I'm going off on a tangent which is another thing some people don't like that I do here and uh, I'm just mentioning that because I know I have a lot of new subscribers guys and this is how I am I will talk about random stuff we go off on tangents tangents not too bad I think I get, bring it back in but um I'm just sitting here talking with you guys like anybody else would, your friend, I hope, you know, <laughs> just chatting. And um, anyway, so I just uh, welcome you to my channel and I'm going to go grab some stuff <laughs> really quick to get this card started. I'll be right back. Part of what I was going to say about that is that um, with nails, right, people used to designs and they're like, that person did a snowman before you did, they're like five years ago. It's like, okay, because somebody did a snowman on their nails, no one can ever do it again <laughs> or whatever, you know? So I'm like, okay. I'm just not watching anything, so it's super truthful that I did not see that. That's it. What else can you do? Um, I don't, you know, I don't really have a lot of... Oh, I guess I do have manly papers. How about that Paisley set, right? I don't remember if it was called Paisley, but um, from the Create Crop at Home 2. There's a lot of kind of manly papers in there. So I'm just going to go with black, which is really probably too plain for my taste, but this is what I have right now, and I'm not going to go pulling out some other set of papers. So I'm just going to start with that. Black on this one. Um, I do want an outline paper. Now I'm thinking, should this one else be black? No, let's do, uh, I was going to say like a gray. I'm going to look in, uh, back through the paper that I just showed you guys and run this through something that's kind of a gray scale, right? So we'll have that run through gray paper. I am going to run this guy through the black paper. I'm not going to do the red paper or this other one yet because how I'm going to get a background piece for this that we're going to paper piece into is I'm just going to trace it and then fussy cut this, which is not my favorite thing to do, but that's what we're going to do. So f let's do these bits right now and I'll be right back. Okay, this is really cool. So pretty. Um, pretty, we're talking about a card, but you know what I mean? It's just, I love the clean look of that. Okay, so basically we can glue this down, cut the thing out, but look how everything just pops right, all that detail. Um, but for me, what I'm going to do is trace this and then just fussy cut it. Now, I, like I said, I guess we could just glue it down and then cut around the edges, but then I wouldn't want to cut into my actual project, which is probably something I would do. So let's not do that. Um, maybe. I'm always looking for a pencil, and I don't know why my pencils are always eluding me here. All right, so with this guy, I'm taking this grayish paper and I am just going to trace around this guy. And then when I go to cut it, I'm just gonna cut inside of that line as well as I can. And you don't have to be right on it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Cause to be honest, I'm just using it to help hold things in at some point, right? So like on the top of the car, but I do want that color to show through like this window area. So you do wanna take some care, but it doesn't have to be exactly perfect. Uh, I guess it depends on what you're going for. Like on some of the examples I had seen that she had replaced some colors with like, you know, the fabric looking paper and stuff, and that's fine, obviously. Um, but it doesn't really make sense here, which I'm still gonna do it. I'm gonna pop that red in here. I guess it could be like paint job, I don't know, because the car's black. You would think those things are like silver, like chrome, but I don't wanna keep running it through different colors. I'm just gonna run it through one color and paper piece those pieces back in. So we're gonna take this, some little scissors. I feel like I, it sounds like I have a bee in my bonnet the other day, <laughs> even right now. You know what it is? It's getting hot, and I'm getting like, ugh, it's like humid. It's not hot. We're in the 60s, but it's the humidity, guys. Okay, I'm going to cut inside the line, like a good amount, because obviously that pen, you know, has its own thickness and whatever else. So, like, inside my line, probably, probably, like a sixteenth of an inch or maybe a little bit less, right? And then if I need to trim that up a little better, I will, but it's kind of like what we did with the... Crafter's Companion 
paper piecing set. And I'm sorry, this is just what I'm doing. You can obviously not do this. <laughs> I'm just saying if you want it to look more spectacular, a little bit better than basic, there's some work to do. Which I kind of learned at that, well, not learned, I knew that, <laughs> but uh, was forced to do at the crop at home because those things I wouldn't choose to do on my own at home. I know people are like, oh, remember we used to fussy cut this and that? I'm like, nope, because I <laughs> did it, you know, 20, 25 years ago. Like, no, I'd rather not. Uh, I wasn't into that. But again, whenever I fussy cut, like what I'm doing right now, I'm trying to pay attention, stay inside that line, and I'm squeezing, you know, the pressure is coming from my dominant hand and my non-dominant hand is turning my paper. And once you get to an area where you just feel like you can just cut away, I usually cut away a lot, but now I'm trying to preserve this little piece of paper. Maybe I can put it somewhere else, I don't know. So I'm gonna continue going and then that piece will fall away and then I'll just continue going, you know? So make it as easy as you can on yourself. I'll be back. That did not take that long. So let's put our card together and not talk about our, my editing choices and my <laughs> video making choices. I'm done with that. Um, okay. Oh, how cute. Look at that little, uh, this should be a little light, right? See, that's what the, some of this stuff is kind of like, mm, eh, I might just leave that the way it is. But if you want to run it back through and just get that little light to pop in there or, ooh, some like nouveau drops that might be like a gold or yellow color. That'd be cute. Uh, just something to fill that in. These lights up here are doing their own thing. And like I said, some of her examples, she just cut around like the whole thing and then popped it in like gold or something, some other color that makes that pop. But uh, I don't know, guys. Okay, and this is what I wanted. Oh, that's actually not bad. Look, I didn't even check yet until right now with you guys. That is like perfect. So I'm going to stick that down completely. Now that is different from this background dye, which is having a hard time here. <laughs> Let's get this off of here. Ah, uh, there we go. I know the colors are very similar because I want that gray, but that's gray and this is blue, right? And that's all I wanted because I wanted that to fill in the windows for me. I'm going to have this popped up away from the gray that is also separate from the actual card base. So let's move some of these things. We're going to use this again in just a minute. Oop, my bottle of glue is going to cause me accidents. All right. This one I'm going to run it through in just a second, but I'm going to use the red and I'm going to piece it in like immediately. So let's not play with that. Uh, let's put this somewhere else. Oh, good thing I didn't lose that. All right. So I'm just gluing this down. Now, the other thing you can do is obviously like pop the pieces up. Um, I do that sometimes with like Spellbinders dies where maybe you can just, I don't know, put glue all over this thing, but I'm going to put the glue and then I'm going to dab some of it off, which I said the other day, and I still didn't do that. I forgot <laughs> by the time I was done. Um, we're going to put this on here. Sometimes wet glues, it depends on how wet they are, they can make your paper do some funny things, especially specialty papers. So I'm just going to dab off anything extra, and I'm going to place it right on here. Um, yeah, with Spellbinders, sometimes what I'll do is if I have something that I have popped up, then I'll just pop up the inlay. Like, let's say it was just this. I would put that also on dimensional, and it would just be sitting in there. People wouldn't know that it's not attached, you know? But there's a lot of little pieces that I don't really feel like making a bunch of little 3D bits for, you know? So instead of sitting here and holding this, which is not my favorite thing to do, I am going to put my plate system or just a plate on top of this and put a machine on top and um, I'll be back in a few minutes Let's see how we're doing boop boop if you guys would like leave me comments of what you do aside from like turning on the AC to cool off a little bit <laughs> that, oh you guys it is getting to me, as you can tell. Okay, and this is the other part that's a little bit something that's a little pet peeve of mine. <laughs> when you fold this, you know, you have the pretty side where the die kind of pushed in, and then you have the rough cut side. You're going to have to choose one of these sides oh, to be your... Sorry, I don't even know where I was on this one. Um, <laughs> I was talking about how sometimes you have to pick which uh, side you want to face up, but with this car, it's a very specific shape. A lot of times it's symmetrical, so you can do it this way or that way. This one you can't do that with, so bloop, I'll rewind and edit whatever I was saying. Um, all I was going to say is we need to put this together, obviously. So um, we're going to fold that in half. And um, I, you know, this one you are going to score because basically this needs to bend like this. 
to hold your easel. Um, and I think she had decorated hers and then put it together, but however. But this is, again, my little pet peeve, and maybe that's where I edit, is that it still shows here, and you're seeing the back side of the rough cut side of your die. Uh, not my favorite, but that's okay. And then my friends here always tell me, just take a silicone bone folder, which I happen to have one because a friend here sent me one. <laughs> um, and kind of go around the edges and flatten it out and it just looks a little nicer, right? So there's something. Or run it back to your die cutting machine. A lot of times it'll still flatten that out too. For right now it has like extra paper. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> Some other bits of like fluff. Okay, so I'm just gonna stick it down and then we'll go from there. So... And I'm, you know, I'm just partial to wet glues, guys. I hardly ever use liner tape type glues. Um, I remember back in the day we used to always use Sook Wang. Sook Yang? Sook Wang. That's not really what they marketed it under. It's just that's what it says, right? And then you rip the little liner carrier off. It's usually marketed by, like, a company name. But it's all the same. <laughs> and um, it's good stuff. I just... You know, after having books and memory albums or mini albums that are so old and they start falling apart, I'm just like, you know what? Maybe that's not the best. <laughs> so I just like a wet glue because unless you tear it or rip it, it's not going to come apart even years later. There are other glues that won't either, but it's just it's hit and miss, guys. All right. So that is going to be our card base, and this guy's going to be popped up. And I don't really have a lot of manly things to go with this, I don't think. Um in my collection. I might. Like I said, I'll pull that cart home. There might be something in there. Um, and I she had those cute dies that made like luggage and other things or like a little trophy and I was, not dies, I think it was a cut and emboss folder set. I was thinking about it, but then I thought, eh, how much, well, how many times will I actually use that, you know? I'm just gonna run this whole thing through, but really, I mean, because there's some parts like we need this top part and I guess all these little bits I'm gonna fill in in red. I have no idea. <laughs> Let me see. Again, she didn't do as much here as in the examples in the presentation, so it's hard to see what it is that I want to do. Oh my goodness, there was another thing I wanted to do. And I even put them right here so I'd remember <laughs> before I stuck that down. Um, actually, I guess I'll have another one from this. I want to get my tires going because one of these tires we're going to have to cut off right here so it looks like it's tucked in. Sorry about the lighting because of that. Um, and I wanted the shape. I wanted to basically place it here and then get the shape and then just cut it, right? But we can do it with this red piece, I suppose. So in the meantime, I'll run through these guys first. <laughs> I'm gonna run this one through white. I'm gonna try to not have to make a white wall and see what it looks like without doing like three different layers for the tires. So I'm gonna do the white in the background. So three of these, because there's three. You don't have to accent that tire if you don't want to. Um, so I'll do three, and then I'll do three of this shiny, shiny gold, just so it really sets off. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I'm wearing a sweater, and I'm over here complaining about how hot I am. Um, okay. So I'll just run these guys through, and then I'll run the red one through, so that's the last thing I run through, so I'll have my little bits ready for paper piecing, right? So I'll be right back. Guys, here we go. So um, I just have these pieces. This piece was very close to the edge, but I thought, well, if I cut that off, I might not, it might be okay. Yay, so that'll be the one for that. Um, hopefully we'll just do that. Either way, I'm just gonna go with it. I'm not gonna stress too much. Now, let's pop this guy out, and hopefully all the bits stayed for the most part, right? Uh -huh. There's a little piece right here. See that guy? He stayed over here. So we will need that. And then maybe this piece in the back? It's hard for me to tell again. That could be upholstery. Even though this is really the upholstery. I don't know if you can see that. But there we go. I'm going to leave this right here in case I need something else from it. But now we will simply just piece this in. And there are some areas where it doesn't really make sense. You know, again, Maybe it's a rag top, right? It's an old convertible type thing. Or whatever they used to call it back in the day. Carriage? I don't know. Um, okay, so we have this piece. And yeah, I'm just going to piece things in. And it just makes it easier. That little fussy cutting that we did under here makes it easy to pop pieces in. And you can just, you know, have like the blue of the windows. I'm assuming that's a window, right? We'll leave it for now. See what happens. Okay. Um leaving that. I almost kind of want to leave that piece too, but let's see. No help? Nope. All right. <laughs> I'm just going to piece in what for sure I think is going to be this accent color. And here. And I guess that could be also be popped up if you wanted to because the wheel's going to kind of be there. Oh well. I'm just going to stick it down. Ah! 
You know what I'm saying? When I go to put the wheel in or the tire, it's going to be kind of popped up. But that's okay. Um, even this little bit over here, I'm going to do in the red too. And these little bits here, I'll do also in red. Anything that looks like the car accent pieces, I will do in red. Ah, there we go. So let me work on that. <laughs> And I'll come back and show you exactly kind of what everything looks like. So again, here and here and here and here. Probably not the little light, but everything else. So I'll be back. funny, as I'm putting this together, I'm like, well, if those are brake lights, they would be red, wouldn't they? Hmm. Maybe, maybe I'll run that last little bit through like a bright red so it is different red than everything else. Okay, so we have this. And it's looking really good. And thank goodness when I lifted this up off of here, I said, I'm going to put this over here carefully. And there's these little bits here. <laughs> All these little bits stayed in here, and so I was able to poke them out. Um, I thought, oh, for sure they flew off when I picked this up, but no, they were there. So that's good. Okay, let's put this to the side for a moment. Oopsies. Hold on. There we go. Um, I don't need this either. <laughs> but I think that's everything. I just, you know, like, this is a little excess glue. What's nice about shiny paper is you can just, you can use your sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> to rub this away, um, the little excess glue that might have gotten there that's making things look dull, you know, fingerprints for sure, oh my goodness, I was touching this thing all over <laughs> to get this done, still have a little bit of glue there, I'll wipe that off in a minute, but that looks good. What I was trying to say is the tires, right, we've been talking about tires, been afraid of the tires this whole time, they're not really round, this is not a perfectly circular circle, it's kind of ovalish and kind of squished. Now. You know, Anna, she'll pop, you know, pop dots behind everything, or pop dots, but dimensionals. I think I'm just going to glue the gold down straight away and then have these popped up a little bit. Um, this one. Now, this one is a little bit smaller in size, in my opinion. It looks different, but, you know, right? Doesn't it? It's like a little bit smaller, but they use the same one for everything. So what I'm going to do is, let's go ahead and glue this down. Oh, maybe that one. No, it's okay. I was going to say maybe that one is better if it was the gold were popped away from the white and then the white part, you know, straight down there. Right? Doesn't that look like less than circular? I don't know. What I wanted to do was basically pop this here and know about how much, but not this one. This is the perfect one. Remember? I used the little scrap one. Uh, let's put something on top of this. Oh, this one. Sorry, guys. Let me go ahead and glue that together. And then we'll chop that piece off. And now I have a red card ready to go for the next time. For the next card. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> Honestly, I truly appreciate each and every one of you. I know I was like, oh, that's not. It just, every time my channel has a little growth spurt, and I know right now it's because of the Walmart Hello Hobby <laughs> um, machine, I guess, and then possibly the Dollar Tree stamp video because that thing has gone like off I don't know why <laughs> um, so I appreciate a lot of new people um, but this is my how I do it guys I don't, I'm not going to change so um, hopefully you enjoy my videos um, okay so I put that there again I want this piece cut off but you know what Ooh, it might not be where I want it to be cut huh? I'm going to make it I'm going to make it be where I need that so let's say it was there okay perfect this part Oh yeah, the paper I used, by the way, has a uh, candy stripe on it. <laughs> uh, on this back side, I'm going to trace that, and I'm going to cut that away. So hopefully you saw what I did. I just tucked it in there. I'm going to cut right on the inside of that line, and cut this away, hopefully in a way that doesn't look like a child did it. Nothing wrong with children's crafts, but I'm not a child, so <laughs> there you go. All right. Hey, not bad, huh? Okay. Let me glue these other two together and I'll be right back. Um, let's just get these guys stuck down. So I probably should have done that before, but let's just get a couple of these. And then I remember to have sentiment stickers that you're supposed to put with like the cartouche kind of dies. And I'm pretty sure in there there's like a happy father's day. So I will look for that. Again, these wheels throw me off a little bit cause like I said, they're kind of like a uh, oval. Put it right there. And I'm just going to go with that, with the white tire, white wall kind of look. But like I said, Anna's examples had the black, that larger circle, then white from this die, and then gold, and then they cut around this area. And I just don't have the skills to make that look like a child didn't do it, you know? 
So I'm going to leave it alone and stick all these guys down. And then this guy, same thing, I'll just put some dimensionals on the back and stick it right there. I mean, it actually kind of looks nice flat, but I'll probably put dimensionals either way. I'll be right back. I put lower profile dimensionals from the Anna Griffin dimensional kit. And so it's a little bit less obvious, you know, than these guys. Still, that cutting away is not my favorite, but you know, what are you going to do? Okay, so there it is. And... I'm going to pop this up on here. So I, uh, the same set of black dimensionals I will use and put tons of them. Well, not tons of them, but, you know, quite a few and take the carriers off and all that, and I'll be right back. So let's take this guy and bring it right close to my face if I can. Sorry if my head's in the way at all. I don't know. So again, my black base is very plain. Um, that is very cute. I don't have a ton of like decorations or something like this, but that is really, really cute. I mean, yay, let's fold that. Needs to be trained a little bit. Look at that, that is, oh my gosh, adorable. And again, I might put that little red thing there. So hopefully you can understand and appreciate why I did the fussy cutting of that base just so it's pulled away from here. Just made it easier. It took minutes. I mean, it wasn't that much. Okay, so this guy. I have uh, these guys, and I don't think they're available. They might be on Anna's site, but I haven't seen them on HSN in a while. Uh, and I think I even have a Happy Father's Day. Yeah, there it is. Already popped out from whenever I was showing them, whenever I had reviewed the... Um, cartouche there. Ooh. It is an interesting shape now. It doesn't really coordinate with anything. I mean, you can just put that there. Oh, how cute. I was thinking about, <laughs> look, it's sitting up on its own just because the paper is so nice and sturdy. Um, maybe putting that on this thing that this came with. Let me put these to the side. Very good, very good. Um, this guy... <laughs> Look at him. He's a little, a little bowed there. Okay. This guy. What I was thinking is if I can do something. Oh my goodness. Some of these papers. If I put this here, is this supposed to hold everything back? I guess it holds it kind of there, huh? Hmm. Let me do these examples. Yeah, it barely touches the tires. So maybe, I mean, I kind of have to use that one, don't I? And then maybe this just with some decorative paper and then pop this onto that. Okay, I'm gonna run these through two different papers so and I'll be right back. None of the scraps that I used had a space big enough to cut this uh, decorative part because like it wouldn't fit there. It wouldn't fit obviously any more other place and it wouldn't fit left to right this way because the paper's too small, <laughs> the slimline paper. So I was like, ah, there was no paper that I had that I could just kind of maybe, you know, work that a little bit. Um, okay, so let's see. We need this thing to pop up, otherwise it's not gonna hold our... Actually it will, because as you can see, my easel is sitting up on its own without any help from anybody or anything. Uh, let's put this on here. And this is just a scrap, not a scrap. Like I just said, I didn't have scraps. This is just um, a whole other sheet from one of the, I think the handsome paper pack or whatever. Okay, and then maybe these two guys. I think this is a sticker, and if it doesn't Hope it doesn't pop off. Let's see. Yep. Ooh, don't poke yourself. All right. Let's see. Is that center right in there? Cute. Now, of course, I can pop this up too, but I really don't want to. So what I'm gonna do is just glue it down. Look at that. Ooh. And I'm put it right in the center, kind of like a cigar band, I guess. Right? Kind of echoes that kind of thing, maybe. Okay, and while I'm fidgeting with that, that looks pretty centered. I'm gonna turn this over and put some dimensionals on this and I'll be right back. I think we're good, so let me take these off. Just that I put this little extra bit, so obviously if I put it you know, down here, well, actually, I kinda like that look. <gasps> Should I put it out here? I didn't think about that. I would've put my little um, dimensionals higher up. You know, I kind of like that, because otherwise, to clear this, and if you don't want to show, you kind of have to have it, like, here. And then the car is pretty straight up, but that's okay, too. I don't know. 
<laughs> Hold on, I probably shouldn't have taken the carriers off. If I have it down here, it holds it up in a more relaxed kind of way. I, I like that. Okay, so let me do that. But let me move this guy up. He's kind of on there. Hey. He's kind of on there. Let's move it up all the way up. And I think these guys might be okay, but let's go ahead and bring them up a little higher. Oh, I totally put my fingers all over that. That was not great. You can also put glue, so let's go ahead and put some glue just to make sure that this will stay <laughs> later since I messed with them as much as I did. Yeah, I just think that's cute. I like it down here. Well, yeah, because when it's closed up, you can still see that it literally says, like, Happy Father's Day. So let me bring it down just a little more with that glue. We can definitely do that. And this is pretty skinny, so I'm assuming it'll fit in a, an envelope even if it's like this. So, yeah, we still have the Happy Father's Day there, right, when you open it up. And then that helps you keep your little car up. And I am happy with that. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed some of those tips, or at least how I got this done. I don't know. That's no, nope, gotta go pick up Miranda. See, perfect timing, y'all. So, uh, thanks for watching. I'll have uh, images coming up. I'll have links in the description box. And yeah, I'll see you all at the next one. Bye now. You know, I have to just show you this. You know, I eyeballed all of that. And look, when I turn it over, look at that. I just, look at this. <laughs> just on the edge. And I wasn't even like trying for it you know i might trim that little bit off oh and just one last thing because i wanted to show you that because i was like uh, i must have met some witchy powers that i again didn't even look at that um i'll go ahead and pop this little booty part of the die through the machine just to get a little red light that i'll pop in there basically just red bright red and i'll pop it in all right guys thanks bye now